What day of the week is it? Friday. I'm completely lost. I don't know what's going on, but we are at a Goodwill. Not sure how we got here, but uh, let's go see if they've got anything good for us. Stick around. You ready? Let's do it. I can relate to this. Same, always. Some cute mugs here today. Definitely see some potential. See the good. That's really cute. Hearth and Home Magnolia. That makes sense. That's a uh, Joanna Gaines, if you didn't know. But a little vintage kids cup. Cute. Denver. Cat mugs. Love a good cat mug. <laughs> Nothing I have to have. So Labo's been showing up a whole bunch. Zero percent chance the game's in there. But a lot of cardboard is. Oh wow. Look at this old Clifford. Three bucks, probably get that. What is that? An animal sport game? By Milton Bradley, 1998. Man, I'm gonna probably have to take a look at that. If it's all there, I might get it. It looks to be a pretty good shape. I have an obsession with hurricane lamps. I think they're so beautiful. This one's really fun. It's 20 bucks though. They aren't worth a ton, unfortunately, but... One board game and one Clifford. I passed up a Clifford the other day. It just didn't look too terribly special. This one's a bit older. It's cute. And the Animorph board game looked pretty good on our shelf full of Animorph books, I think, at our antique mall. We just, we did a couple board games on our second channel. Link in the description if you want to go check that out. And I really liked it and I really want to do more, but it's a bit difficult because some board games aren't so much fun with just two players and, you know, we're really all we got. And, uh, but I want to do more of them. Like, I keep buying board games for our antique malls, and in the future, when the van's out of the way, we just kind of have more time to do it. I'll probably be buying board games, we'll play them, and then sell them, and then just kind of amass a lot of experience playing lots of random board games. I think that'll be pretty cool. It'll be fun. Because we, you know, we have a better chance than most to just play a huge variety of them. <laughs> yeah. Because they all show up sooner or later. All right, uh, there's a couple good wills down the road here. That we haven't been to in a while. I don't know if we'll go to both, but one of them is right next to a store where we might go look for some paint for old trash mobile here. <laughs> I think that's the name I'm leaning towards. We're still gonna, it's still open discussion for a name for this. And just read the comments for the last few days worth of videos. Lots of great suggestions, lots of funny suggestions. Not for bread hauling was a good one. <laughs> I like Tindabago. Tindabago or Winnetendo. That was good. That was good. I, I just, you know. Trash mobile sounds dope. Sounds like it's our superhero vehicle. <laughs> I, there needs to be a button on the dash that makes the sides come out and like the my bobblehead rise out of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> this is my kind of Goodwill. You want to know why? Why? It sits right in between Harbor Freight and there's a trash supply over there. Mm -hmm. All the supplies we could need Indeed. for my bread truck. Just sitting over there lonely. It looks so ridiculous. I keep walking out of Goodwills and seeing it just going. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite Goodwill for home decor and dishes. 
They've always got something interesting here. And today doesn't disappoint. There's a bunch of like pig and cow and giant dog shaped things. That's interesting. A little ice cream train thing. Very different. Always something to look at. Bad cats. Bad cats. Air racer. Now this is interesting. This is in the wrong place, but it's pretty. I might get it actually. Ornate little tin, dollar forty-nine. It's not bad. I'm sure you could keep like sewing supplies or just I don't know any kind of craft stuff in there. Just a little catch-all bin. We're on this side of town because we wanted to go to Tractor Supply, which we're sitting in the parking lot of. Uh, we had to come here, so we thought we'd just thrift along the way, and the thrift store has been pretty terrible. So this side of town is banished for another month. We'll, <laughs> we'll come back next month. Uh, Let's go check the tractor supply out, and see if we can get some supplies for working on this van today or tomorrow. Uh, it needs some paint. We're gonna actually check for some very specific kind of paint here. Uh, I'm thinking about painting it with tractor paint. It's really tough, basic paint. Uh, I don't really want to go with spray paint or some automotive paints or even uh, some people paint these things with just like pretty general house paint. We're gonna try tractor paint first. See how that goes. Hardware and paint. Tractor truck and implement. Where's the white? It should all be white, shouldn't it? <laughs> no, it'd be green and red. Red. Green. Yellow. Ooh, yellow. No. Yellow. We got yellow tractor paint. Hannah says it's okay. No. <laughs> white. This is it. I hope it's not that color white. I H white. Uh, white Ford gray. Here's a white. Here's all-purpose enamel and here XL. Literally every brand here is out of the white, so we got to get school bus yellow. <laughs> what do you think? Hey, the the Kabuta orange is on sale. Oh, it is. Buddha orange. I'm gonna be doing chocolate covered almonds. I mean, it's hard to talk to them. Look at you over there eating. Do you eat them all? I got one left. She's got the last one. Here's the deal. We're gonna go paint this bad boy. Uh, but Hannah didn't bring painty clothes with her. She's got a nice outfit on. She doesn't want to get paint on. I can't talk to these almonds. Yeah. Well, this is not gonna make it better. <laughs> well, that's the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna go in Goodwill. Hannah's go <laughs> what? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hannah's gonna buy an outfit to paint in. You call me Hanga. <laughs> <laughs> They're very chewy. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. Hanga and dollar. <laughs> okay, so today's half of color is pink, which means the dollar color is purple. So I'm gonna try to find something purple that I can get paint all over. I'm debating on just getting a dress or doing a whole t-shirts and shorts situation. So I think I'm gonna start in the shorts and see how that goes first. That might inform whether or not I get a dress because I feel like the shorts are gonna be really hard for me to find. Or a blue skirt, you know, that's an option. Skirts usually fit, <laughs> but we gotta do this quick. Well. That's the king frog. Do not kiss him. Okay, ideally I would get something in active wear, but that's gonna be, <laughs> that's a choice. It's gonna be a little tricky. I mean, two bucks for this, some, some tight ass leggings. Let's uh, maybe try to find something better, but I guess that's a good fallback plan. I'm looking for purple. I hope they haven't already pulled them all off the floor because I'm not finding a ton of purple. Oh no, here's a purple. It's a medium. 
a, this big booty does not fit in a medium. They, but they do exist. Get hype. This is not going well. Shark night. Not a lot here. Okay, I'm in men's shorts. Maybe I'll find something. Not seeing purple. Oh, hey. This is purple. Excuse me, is the dollar color purple today or is yes. it? Yes. Okay, cool, thank you. Okay, so these are purple. We have a pair of shorts. Ideally, I'd like to find some like basketball shorts or something more comfortable, but at least we have shorts. Some khaki wranglers that'll work. Now on to t-shirts. Looking for PlayStation games. Well, that is not one, but that might actually be worth a buy. King of the Hill soundtrack. What? What? I am super overwhelmed. The t-shirt section is very vast and the tags are in the collar, so I have to flip through every single one. This is gonna take forever, and I'm not in, ooh. I mean, lol. I'd look like a soccer dad, you know? Blue shirt, some khaki shorts. <laughs> sure, why not? I have a t-shirt improvement. How about it? Let's be Mr. Incredible today. I'm into it. I love this. Okay, I found a shorts improvement, so I don't have to wear men's Wranglers khaki shorts. Some uh, stretchy pants for a dollar. Cool. We're gonna look so boring. I'm gonna look like a big gray blob. Okay, so you bought a painting outfit, right? I did. I haven't seen it at all. We'll go to the painting spot now and you can reveal it. It's pretty awful. <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> We're rolling into one of our favorite spots. Be our first time driving the bread truck back here but we gotta go slow because it's uh it's not really bread truck roads <laughs> uh i wish i had my drone i'm a little bit distraught right now that i didn't bring our drone because every time we've ever driven our van out here we've you know we've definitely flown the drone behind us on this road but i didn't bring it I don't know. Is that a dress? It's one of those um, mermaid tail blankets that you wrap on your body. Well, that's weird. Yeah? That's damn weird. Uh, pretty cool spot though. You can see there's a, a schoolie camping out there. Some RVs back here. We've camped here many times. Haven't done it in the bread truck yet though. Let's get this bad boy painted. Let's do it! All right, I'm gonna prep the work. Hannah is going to change into the painting fit. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see the fit. I'm going to hit this side with one last little bit of finer sanding and then we're going to get to it. That's the fit. Mr. Incredible. That's not bad. <laughs> How much did this fit cost? Two dollars. Two dollar painting fit. You want to go ahead and just run the brush across it and <laughs> sure, just get it out of the way? Get it out of the way. <laughs> All right, let me, let me hit this side with a little bit of fine grit and bring it up.
because this thing definitely needs a cooler. Okay? Yeah, it does. It does for sure. Well, I wish. I don't know where my phone is, or I'd show you pictures, but I uh, it had just this awful painting of a guy on a four wheeler on it. Well, you, awesome. Those two like you spots that are kind of black. Yeah. It's like that, that was the two wheels. But like luckily it was like Walmart dollar paint. It so I just hit it with a wet sand and it just stripped it right off. Melted off. off. Yeah. Had a nice little chat with the park ranger. His name was John, real nice guy. He's really excited about our uh, bread truck conversion. Very excited about it. Uh, we're getting to the painting. It already just like from back here, that layer of white looks good. Like look at that on Hannah's right compared to that on her left. Pretty good. You like it? So nice. We're gonna have a white bread truck. Finally. <laughs> you gotta wear that shirt forever now. <laughs> what a difference already that made. The before and after of this is gonna be a big lull. A real big lull. What do you think? She's looking pretty. That's just one coat, baby. That's one coat. This side is still bare, but we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get her done. We moved on to the other side. I'm loving it. I'm loving, I'm loving these guys' bus over here too. They've got it a cool color. It's like a peach, almost skin tone, kind of tan. I don't really know what you call it. What do you Camomile call it? Chamomile lotion. You think it looks like calamine lotion? Calamine, yeah. Camomile. Close Camomile. enough. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, we could do that. We could like just below this line, just paint it like a tan color or something. Really pretty. Or yellow. Ooh, like a light blue. <laughs> We did not buy the paint to do this today. We might do this tomorrow, but we're gonna remove some of this trim and paint it black, all black, and probably even do these black as well. Not sure yet. It's a, uh, it's up for discussion. We're figuring things out as we go, but I'm telling you, that looks good. Oh, she looks looking brand new. Hey, Anna. Hey, what? I'm filming you from a rock. <laughs> <laughs> this camera will not do it justice, but that is the Lost Dutchman. Give it a Google. Very nice piece of land, uh, monument, uh, what do you call it? Work, nature, thing? Mountain. It, mountain. It's nice. It's very nice. Very pretty. And this is very satisfying. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, yes. Hello. She pretty. Cameron's about to die too. Oh no! I'm gonna plug her up while All we right. keep painting. Cool beans. She's looking good though. This campsite we're on is just kind of trashed. I mean, just, it's not, I don't know. I guess maybe it's not as bad as it could be. I don't know if park rangers come clean it up. I mean, obviously the best case scenario is for everyone who camps to take the trash with them, but it's clearly not exactly happening. So we're gonna pick up some trash since we have a trash can in our car and leave this place a little bit better than we found it. Come on out of there, grocery bag. Ooh, it's in Prickly's. That's why nobody reached on that one. Uh, but yeah, I'll feel better leaving this better. Honestly, we're probably gonna come back to this spot, exact spot in a couple weeks and do some serious camping here, sleeping in the bread truck. I don't know if you wanna call it camping or not, whatever you wanna call it. So might as well clean it up now. It'll be clean by the time we come back. Just the wind has blown so much trash in here. Quick trip, quick trip cups, cigarettes. It's just so much. Butane refill, all right. Tornadoes, <laughs> tornado from quick trip. Couldn't take that trash with you, bro. Unfortunate amount of grocery bags. You see more trash? Yeah, some really old trash here. Polar pop. Maybe that's why it's the trash mobile. It comes to the state parks and picks up the trash. Maybe that should be our new charity venture. Hand is into it. I'm not against it. I don't think that's gonna be our official charity venture. I think we're just gonna do that wherever we go. 
public land because it's the right thing to do. It looks better than it did. She's a mute. Well, I was talking about the trash, but that's but the van too. It's hey. <laughs> good. I don't know how either of us did it, but neither of us really got paint on our clothes. <laughs> I mean, after I went to Goodwill and got clothes that I could get paint on, nothing. We normally get covered in paint. Maybe it's just the yellow paint. Maybe. I know every time we paint something yellow, it's just all over. We get covered. Should have got gloves. Listen, guys, I'm so sorry I didn't bring the drone today. You guys are missing out, man. This is the, these cacti, this mountain range, man. I, if I brought my drone today, I'd be flying all over, but we didn't do it. I failed you. That's on me. We'll probably come back here next week to do some more work just to have space, be in nature and stuff. I'll bring the drone then. I'll show it to you then. That's a that's a Tendo promise. That's <laughs> a Tendo promise. Which is worth probably nothing. Because <laughs> I'll probably forget. Uh, but we had an interesting time out here because uh, as you might have seen, Park Ranger came up and talked to us and kinda kinda heard some hard news. Take a look in front of us here. There's some downed campers and RVs all over the place here. And uh, there's a strict 14 day camping limit here, which is actually really good to be able to camp here for 14 days. Um, for free. The, for free. It's a uh, Bureau of Land Management land, so it's government land and you're allowed to use it. Um, but people have been overstaying that welcome and they're having to kick a lot of people out, but it's because people are kind of in a rough spot. So because of COVID and stuff, they moved into campers. And that really sucks really sucky situation and even the park ranger guy was really cool about it and he's like we're doing the best we can letting people stay and you know help them out and stuff but they got to do what they got to do um, it's just rough it's right it's interesting continuing to find and hear about more ways that COVID has affected people you know I, I I'm not unaware that it's caused homelessness and caused people to turn to living in vehicles and stuff but you know I didn't think about places like these uh public lands being overran a little bit there's some overlander action I don't know how late you see that we hung around at the campground for a little while and gave it a little bit of time to dry and it looks good made it home safe this bread truck is plain Jane baby <laughs> Do you like it? Looks good. There you go, guys. That is the all new white bread truck. We will probably come back out here sometime next week and hit her with another coat. It looks pretty good. If you get really close, you can kind of see some light spots, but if we hit it with another coat of that same stuff, it's gonna, it's gonna look that good for the rest of its life. Uh, so maybe we'll come out here next week, hit that. It's really up in the air as to whether or not we're gonna hit the rest of it. We just hit the side panels. And you know, on camera, I bet it just looks completely white. Uh, in person, I mean, it, it doesn't stand out. The new paint job doesn't stand out from the rest too much, except for some like small rust streaks and small water streaks, you know, it, it doesn't look bad at all. But there's some other effects around the van we wanna paint black. So we'll probably come out here next week, paint those black and touch up what we just did. I'm pretty happy with that. But guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Listen, we post daily videos on this channel, so make sure you come back tomorrow, turn those notifications on, hit that subscribe button, help us get to 10,000 subs. We're really close. And uh, we'd appreciate your help getting there. But other than that, I don't know what else to say. We got some all right stuff at the thrift store. It wasn't crazy. Today wasn't a thrift day. Today was a van day. So come back tomorrow, see if tomorrow's a van day or a thrift day or both, could be both. I want to get to the thrift and find stuff for the van. That's really the idea of, that's the name of the game here, but appreciate you hanging out with us today, guys. Until tomorrow, Hannah, peace out.